Hey, what's up guys? Since last time I've been watching the system and making sure it has been uh, working properly, uh, pretty much the only thing I did was add another battery to this uh, because it was actually only able to... Uh, actually, I think you could see the problem here, maybe. It's the same problem as I was uh, doing that to fix it. So um, basically this battery box can only output an one amp per uh, battery inside of the battery box. And because of that, only some of these burning boxes will actually be ignited because the igniters will all consume one amp. Oh, actually, that's what the problem is there. I see there's a cable missing. So I need to actually get a double cable there. And maybe I might even have to do triple cables. Let me just do, I do that. No, you have to do it beforehand, don't you? Um, let's, let's see. In wire and I need some rubber so yeah that is due to the uh, amperage going through the cable it's probably best if I just do a triple cable then a double cable and then a single cable um, really you can't how do you I thought you could do this what you can't laminate or like you can't uh, make triple cables that way Hmm, I thought you could. I thought you could just combine these. I may be wrong about that. Double tin cable. How do you make the triple ones? 3x tin cable. Tin cable. Oh, maybe there doesn't exist one, actually. Oh, there's only a four times. Right. You can only do this with a laminator. Oh no, you could probably craft this. Hold on. Uh, that's a three times. What if I just make that a four times? Or uncraft this. Combine that into a four times. And then... Really? That's kind of dumb. I mean, I do have a laminator. I thought you could just do this though. Well, I mean, there's only two amps coming out of that battery box. So I think I should be okay. Nope. Okay. Let me uh, make a double cable then. Another one. So yeah, there's two amps coming out of that battery box and it will decrease by one amp for each time like one of the packets, like each time one of the packets of electricity is consumed. So um, if this, if I were to put another battery in here, I would need to put a four times cable there because it would be three amps and then this one would need to just stay a two times cable because that one can only have two amps technically if there's only three because it would be minus one and then another one minus one if that one we're trying to run and then this one would only be one amp so i think that should be good though yeah all three of them are running now very good um i also did some invar piping on top of the crystallization crucible so that this doesn't hurt me when i touch it just in case i need to like come and do some wiring or whatever i don't want to be injured uh, i can disassemble this now actually but it was away and then the last thing i did was i hooked up this centrifuge in order to get the flint dust into silicon dioxide because i'm getting lots of the flint dust i didn't think it would be necessary but it turns out that is actually a bottleneck and then for the carbon dioxide i actually hooked up the tungsten or not the tungsten the titanium diesel engines as well i'm collecting their exhaust and putting it into the carbon dioxide pipe because I was not getting enough of that for the carbon. Uh, I think this should back stuff pretty quickly, but until that happens, I'm just going to let it go and kind of monitor it. So yeah, that's all good there. I'm not overly concerned about anything in that system at this point. I think it should be pretty self-sufficient. Um, one thing I do want to do, though, is uh, I want to spend a little bit of time kind of making the system more robust. And for that, I need some iron. And let me actually just go get some plates. What I want to do is kind of increase my fuel production and also do more to limit the fuel that is being consumed. I want to put an automatic shutoff on that cryo distillation tower. Um, I pretty much just want it to stop when it runs out of noble gases because those are the things that we care about the most. Everything else is sort of secondary. Um, what else do I need for that? I need uh, tin alloy bolts, probably, which means I'm going to need that. 
And I'm going to need a double plate. Let me go turn this into bolts. So I just needed another fluidometer sensor. I already made two for something else. I don't remember what I made it for. Wait. Ah, oh, shit. That's iron bolts. Well, whatever. I'll just grab another iron plate. There we go. Uh, tin alloy bolts and curved iron. Very good. And I need to put the iron bolts away. So I need a bucket. I need a weighted pressure plate. And I need a double tin alloy plate. Like this. And then I need the bolts. And I need four fine red alloy wire. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Alright, let's craft that up. Alright, cool. So I have an AND gate, or I thought I did. Oh wait, I think I put it over here maybe? Yeah. So yeah, I have this left over. Um, I, what I want to do basically is just AND gate all of those, um, those noble gases together. I just need to see the best way of going about it. And I also probably need some redstone machine switches. I want to also raise this up by one because this is getting annoying. You go up. There we go. But yeah, first let me um, see how I need to do this. I think it's more accessible on this side. I just need to move that. Uh, let me just do that. There we go. I just want to Keep that labeled just so I know what it is, but I'll put it here. Argon. There we go. So yeah, we want one of these here. We want it set to uh, come on, screwdriver. We want it set to equals no, we want it set to well, equals hundred percent. That way if it does equal hundred percent, actually we probably could have put it on this side, but it's okay. So yeah, if argon ever gets to 100%, um, where is neon? Neon and helium are both here. Cool. Oops. We want it exactly on these. There we go. Alright, so we want you to be set to equals 100%. Both of you. Cool. And then we want to and these together. And then we want to bring that over here. Actually, I think I might want to switch that diesel engine out to a tungsten steel one. That way I just have more efficient use of space. Shouldn't be a problem. It'll just take a minute to uh, extrude all of that tungsten steel. So it's going to be, what, 23, 24? Something like that. All right. So I need uh, four for a gear, two long rods, a rod, a small gear two curved plates and a pipe. Um, so let's do the gear. I'll take the longest. Come on, go. There we go. So there's that. Um, the long rods, we'll do those. Then the curved plates, the small gear, the regular rod, and the pipe. And then we have these 12 tungsten steel plates for the uh, machine casing. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then do it like that. And a wrench. And we also need a bottle of lubricant. Cool. And then we want some redstone machine switches. So we're going to just put those in there. Um, one, two, should be good. All right, so we just got to wait for these to be done. Almost done. Maybe I should make more extruders or something. I don't know. I'm getting sick of this one. I just need a like a much faster one. All right, let me put my pincers away for now because I don't need them. What else can I put away? Everything else I kind of need on my inventory right now. I'm going to put the, this one actually away, the drill. <clears throat> All right, there's my first gear. All 
Come on. Give me the rods. Ugh, this takes so long. Okay, long rod is done. Alright, yeah, so I want to do this. I want to kind of prevent the cryo distillation tower from overrunning if it doesn't have to. And also, I want to... Actually, I should do... One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll make a tungsten steel drum for oil because I want to start diverting oil and like properly capturing excess that I have. Realistically, I could probably run it on a second distillation tower. Um, maybe I can have like a primary and a secondary distillation tower. The primary can run fully on tungsten burning boxes. And then the secondary can be powered by um, the heater, like the excess heat from that thermoelectric heater, because that uses quite a lot. Or the thermoelectric cooler, I guess. Same thing, but... Um, you are not done running. Stop. Uh, you go here. So I need four of these, and then I need the two long rods. So these curved plates go on here, like this, and like that. We just need to wait for the other pieces to come through. Alright, the rod is done. Then we just need the pipe. Come on. Almost there, come on. Alright. Cool. Now we just need to do... Or actually, no. We'll do these. Alright. So we have the rods, and we just need the pipe. Come on. We need the pipe. Come on. I want that pipe. Come on. There we go. Alright. So there's that, that, and that. Okay. So we'll put the glass bottle away. Um, what else do we need? Nope, oh, that's it. We have the redstone machine, which is cool. Oh, wait. It's down here. Okay, let's go and see. So it should just be a matter of removing these, removing this. Uh, you can stay. You go. You go. And you go like that. That should turn back on. Um, and then I can get rid of this, this, and this. What you hear. I just need to... Wait, why are you not running now? Shouldn't you be full? Kerosene. Oh yeah, I forgot this doesn't need to run anymore, does it? Because I just have two gas burning boxes down here. Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, get rid of this then. And I will remove these pipes just to clean it up a little bit. Just make sure I'm not removing... Okay. There we go. So you are good. You are also good. Yep. Okay. Also, I can take that off. Whoops. That. Okay, so now I need to put the redstone machine switches on. I'll put them here and here. And then I want this and this to go here. So what I want also, I want those to run by default, so I probably will need to redstone torch them. There we go. Just let them run for the time being anyway. And then we will connect them with This. Actually, can I? I don't think I can put that there. That might block the exhaust on that. Let me see. What can I do here? What is this? This is fuel. This is exhaust. So we'll go like that. What do I want to do? I could just go over the top, but 
Yeah, I'll just do that. Not a big deal. Actually, that's probably fine because I'll bring in the wire over here from any anyway, so it's fine. So yeah, we'll do it like that. So those run by default, um, and then we will bring down the signals from all of these. So you, come on, nope. It's very weird. Okay, you go there, you go there. Okay. And then we want this to come down probably. Okay, so if all of these turn on, where do we want the signal to go? We want it over here, like that. I'm just trying to see if there's like a better way to run the cabling and stuff, but I don't think there is. Well, we can just put this here for now, probably. And then we'll run this <laughs> above. A little messy, but all right. So you'll just go out and go like that, and then hook up this way. Does that exceed the range? No, that should be fine. Okay, so then this will go here, this will go here, you will go up, up, and then. This one can come here and go up like that. This way I still have a pathway to go. I mean, realistically, I could do my own AND gate and not have to like run all this cabling, but that's okay. So that should be good. Um, none of these are full, it seems, so it won't do anything right now. Oops, I just want to get rid of all this clay, actually. There we go. Okay, so how much? Okay, helium we have a good amount of, neon we have a good amount of. So yeah, whenever all of these fill up, these will turn on, which will turn this on, which will send a high signal here, which will turn these off, and then that'll prevent these engines from running. So that's good. That will do exactly what we want for the cryo distillation tower. Now what we want to do is sleep first. I want to finish the tungsten steel drum. Let me put all this crap in here first. So you go here, you go here. And I can put these things away. I have some titanium diesel engines to make use of somewhere else. Okay, curved plate, don't need you. I do need you. And I also need a... What do you call it? Um, I can't remember what it's called now. A uh, valve. I need a valve. And I need a bunch of rubber fluid pipes. I would prefer bronze, but rubber is okay. Let me just get a bunch of copper, though. And I'll make some more bronze, because I'm sure I'm running low again. I'm using a lot of bronze. But that's alright. Okay, so copper, tin, and lighter up. Very good. Alright. So this should be done. We will make a drum. Nice. And we'll go down and we will use this to buffer up lots of oil. I'll just put it right here. Why not? And we will say you can fill vertically adjacent tanks. And then... We'll put a, uh, a valve on it here, even though it's not going to do anything right now. And then we'll just put a copper drum, or not a copper, a bronze drum, and you can also fill vertically adjacent tanks. So now when this is full, this will start to fill up, and this we will use to just run either a secondary distillation tower. Um, I mean, realistically, this could be the secondary distillation tower, but um, for now we can use this to run like a distillery. Actually, is this? I think the flow rate is like barely keeping up with the uh, consumption of the distillation tower. 
I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Oh, yeah, this is actually drained of oil. <laughs> okay, let's go take a look at... Oh, let me go fill my jetpack first, because I don't want to have to dig my way back out of that. I was actually right last time about the uh, consumption that I was having. I just didn't look at it long enough. Let me see if I have another um, rain or... Did I spell that wrong? I spelled it dragon. Drain. Um, I need more copper. Or not copper. Uh, iron bars. Just two iron. Or no, four iron. It's a good thing I have infinite. Alright, where is... Okay, rod mold. So you go there. You go there. Okay, I'll use that to make a drain. Let me go get my electric tools. There's that, there's that, and there's that. <clears throat> Alright, I think I'm going to need another huge rubber fluid pipe, most likely. Let me just grab a bunch of them, just in case. Okay, we should be almost here. There we go. All right, wrench. Let's go take a look at the oil well. And actually, while we go down, I will start to replace all of these pipes because these are not good enough. I really should be doing these in bronze, but that's another thing for another time. All right. Keep you coming down. This is going to be a lot of pipes, but that's okay. I'm very curious to see what uh what the oil spring is actually looking like now cuz I'm sure it's sucking up quite a lot more oil, but I, I'm curious if I'm just hitting like the actual limit of the pipe and not necessarily of the uh, oil spring itself, which could very likely be the case. This is a uh, top tier Brett Tech gameplay right here. This is what we all know and love. I mean, it feels like forever ago that I set these uh, wooden fluid pipes. It was uh, a long time ago, a couple hundred hours ago. But it's, the system has been doing good for me the whole time. I can't really complain too much. All right. More wood. This one I'll just dig all the way down and then bring it all the way back up. I thought this would go a lot faster. Is this better to do? No, you can't do it that way. Maybe I just need a better chainsaw. I wish there was like a really good magnetic chainsaw. That would be super nice. Actually, I think maybe higher tier chainsaws might do better. If you look at this and then you do like that. Oh no, it doesn't have auto collecting. Huh. I think you have to use like magnetic iron if you want magnetic on a chainsaw, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Let me put torches here just so I can see a little bit better. It doesn't look like we're... Oh, wait. We are definitely hitting the throughput limit on this. Um, on the oil spring itself. Wow. Okay. Hold on, let me... I'll just do this pipe and we will... Uh... Oh, not like that. Definitely going to hit the limit of uh, my fuel system very soon. I might have to lean much more into ethanol, which I can scale better. And maybe do a tree farm for, like, charcoal and stuff. Um, but definitely solar, I think, is good. It'll be coming up very, very shortly. Okay. Oil is hooked back up. That should drain. Um, 
put one here. One, two, three. Yeah, should be okay. I forgot oil is like this. It's super annoying. So let's do that. This. Okay. And then this I can put here. That should directly drain that oil spring. And let me make sure these are all connected. Yep, they look good. I think I should do a little bit better. I think, is there another oil spring? This one of them is, one of them here is an oil spring, but I don't remember which one it is. It shouldn't matter either way. These should fill up pretty evenly. Although this looks like it has more oil than this one does here. It's hard to kind of see it properly. Eh, it's probably good enough. I don't know. Let's go take a look. <clears throat> I mean, it does seem like there's more oil in the pipe, at least. Not to say that there is enough coming in, but we'll take us a little peek at the uh, tungsten steel drum. That should tell us exactly what the story is. All right. You are not even close to full. What's going on here? 24, wait, 222. Is this just hitting the limit still? Wow, okay. It does to seem to be going up ever so slightly. Okay, I mean, I that's fine. <laughs> um, hmm. It's interesting. I guess I can put an automatic shutoff on this, but I don't really want to. It's very uh, tedious to do it. How many outputs do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. It's not terrible. I can do it with two AND gates. Mm. Do I want to do it? I just have to do two AND gates, then I would have to put it directly onto the... Um, well, the thing is, I don't even know if all these are full. Like, is that, yeah, this isn't full. This is fuel oil is going to kind of not be full. Yeah, none of these are actually full. So I don't even, the auto shut off isn't going to do anything. It's not even like stuffing. It's barely meeting its own demand. But at least we're getting lots of oil now. You are still not filling up, but pipe itself is... Filling up a little bit. Well, that's good. I saved myself from a an oil shortage. <laughs> this still isn't going to be anywhere close because it's just kind of producing noble gases, which are slow. That's fine. But yeah, definitely I need to start leaning into um, solar. My fossil fuel isn't going to cut it anymore. I would really, I really want to do nuclear like so bad. It's just gate kept by the uh, the higher tier circuits, but I'm almost there. We'll do solar a little bit, and then we'll do nuclear as soon as we can. Uh, let me make sure I have all the stupid treated wood fluid pipes out of here, because they are doo doo. And uh, we'll get rid of this burning box. Put it over in the system. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is the redstone alloy bools. So you're going to need basically a duplicate of this setup, which I think I already have. Crystallization crucible. And I need uh, burning boxes. I think I already actually have enough invar ones. Um, oh, wow. Is this actually empty? Holy shit. Do these actually use that much power? What the fuck? That's kind of crazy. I mean, it seems like it's keeping up anyway. It's just exhausting all of the power for no reason. Don't really think there's a way to disable that. I could, I guess I could have a, a running sensor on these that will disable the what do you call them, the uh, igniters, if 
the burning box is already on, but I don't know. At that point, I might just do electric heaters um, and use solar panels. We'll see. For now, I will focus on uh, doing what I need to do. I need a melter or a smelter. Do I have one? No. What do I need for that? Uh, just a regular smelter. I need a tungsten crucible. I already have tungsten plates, fortunately. So I made a bunch of dumb mistakes a couple episodes ago. So you are like that. Hammer, wrench, tungsten crucible. Um, steel fluid pipes. Is that a robust steel machine casing that I see? No. Steel. Two of these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then... Actually, do I have steel fluid pipes? Probably not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Turn these all into... Is that, are those normal pipes? Let me see. Smelter. Steel fluid pipe. Just normal ones. Wait, are those the six ones? No, those are the three ones. Okay. Normal pipe. I don't even need that many. Cool. Let that go. Um, put these steel plates away, and then I need, I think, a copper plate, or is it a double copper plate? Yeah, double copper. Let me get the plate mold, throw the rod mold away. I can make the machine casing while I'm waiting. Um, you go here. Plates, long rods, there's that. There is, uh, maybe bricks. One, two, you go here. You're done. I need copper plates, please. Come on. There we go. All right. Double copper plate. We are done with that. Oh, whoops, like that. And then why did I not grab the steel fluid pipes? There we go. So there's these, and then what else do I need? Oh, I need the crucible, and I think it's just a wrench and a hammer, probably. Yeah, smelter, and then I need a mixer. Redstone alloy. Yeah, I need a mixer. It doesn't take very much at all. I think I have an engine just lying around. Actually, I don't. That's first, actually. <laughs> but fortunately, I have a bunch of bronze coming out, so... All good. Looks to be very nearly exactly the amount that I need to. So I need gear, small gear, long rod, uh, rod, curve plate, and pipe. So gear, one, two, three, four. You go. Little gear. Um, long rod, two. Regular rod one, um, curve plate two, and then small pipe one. Right. That should be everything. Put one of these away. I need to turn these into double plates. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, where's the wrench? There it is. Two long rods. There we go. Gear, gear, you, 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 lubricant. I need, um, actually, I need this to run. I need another burning box. Then spring box liquid invar. That's good. Bottle away. Put this mold away. Oops, let's put that up here. Okay. Oh, and then I need a, uh, what do you call them? I need a selector tag too. So four, then I'll just go get some more iron somewhere else. Probably over here. I actually have a bunch of hematite that I need to uh, start processing. Maybe I'll throw that in. Just grab a stack of calcite over here. Smelt these into gears. 
little gears, I should say. Okay. And then, oh no, I'll throw these over here. Where's my lighter? Oh yeah, I have tons of carbon. I turned a bunch of charcoal into carbon, that's why. You should be good to run. Make me lots of iron. And then, when this is done, I need the rods. Okay. What else do I need? I need the automatic machine switch for the mixer. I need the mixer itself, actually. Let me go grab a bunch more bronze. I may not have enough over here. I'm sure I have some in my system, though. Let me make the selector tag. Uh, where is like this? Wrench, hammer, all the way around. There's my selector tag. Put the rod away. I need a mixer. Oh, I need steel, steel, okay. Stainless. Fortunately, I have a bunch of rings still. I need some curved plates. You go. Okay. Uh, I still need four of these. Mixer. Are these robust casings? No. Bronze. Two rods. Uh, where am I else? Okay. I need a machine casing, and then I need these. And I think I just need like a bronze rod, I believe. Like that. Need these to be welded into a stainless steel rotor. Let's see what else I need. Yep, that's it. Okay. Almost there. So you go like that, and then it's this and this, or is it a screwdriver? No, wrench is on that side, hammer's on the other side. Okay, so this is to make the redstone alloy stuff out of the silicon liquid. The molten silicon. Why are you, oh yeah, you just don't have enough, okay. So, I'm just thinking of how I need to Set this up. This solar panel can't be here. Or right, this pipe might need to be extended a little bit. Let's see. Invar fluid pipe. I'll just get a bunch. I'm gonna have to like snake this behind a little bit. So you can go here. You can go here. And you go here. Don't fill anything. So this will start filling up with silicon when, uh, when it can. I just want to make sure. I mean, it does look like we're getting a good backlog of silicon. It'll just take a while to buffer all of these in. Are you still 554? That's oh, just a little bit off. Oops. That's 557 even. Whatever. Um, yeah, this is going to go there. And then I need the... I think I need a tank extender, unless the, the mixer can take in multiple sides. I think it can. Fluids in top and left. Okay. So, how do I want to do this? Top and left. So this can go here. I want the other crystallization crucibles to be probably there, like it's that wall. Just thinking of how I need to set this up, because I also need to have an input for redstone in order to mix that together. I mean, I can just use germanium and I can make germanium crucibles, but I don't know. I would rather use the germanium just for the solar panels. I need to make germanium? Actually, well, I'll make a different thing for germanium. Uh, 
plates. That'll be pretty simple. Because it's just that metal. But for this, I do need like a specialized system. I just need to think about how I can set this up. Let me add some more glass and use my silk touch to get rid of some of the glass that I have incorrectly placed. Alright. Oops. Okay. That's better. So yeah, I think... I mean, I would optimally like to place these here. That way I could just run the pipe exactly the same. But I, mm, that may not work that well. I might actually have to combine these into one pipe after all. And then just distribute it differently depending on the system. We'll see. I just have to think, what's the best way? So I want the output of the bulls to be kind of roughly in the same spot. So these can both kind of use that. And then also the, the system to uh, reclaim the tiny piles. I kind of also want to be in this area roughly. That way I can reuse the same pipe systems. So that means this will have to output, let me see, this might need to go up one. You go up, you also go up. So this can go here, this can go, or no, not that, you, you go here. You still don't have anything, which is fine. Okay. Um... Just thinking of like what the best way of doing what I want to do is. Let me, let me count how many pipes I actually need for this. So there is this here. So I can realistically just do it there. So that'll be what? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that will get to the glass. And then 10. It's very hard to count these actually. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 to get to the floor. Um, it's, what is that? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm just, okay, whatever. I'll just make a bunch of. <laughs> of uh, non apple rubber fluid pipes. I need at least probably 25 or 26, probably more. Let me make another stack of uh, pipes. All right. How many? I'm definitely not going to have enough on me right now. Fluid. Do I have any rubber? Oh, I forgot I have nitric acid in a drum. Well, that's interesting. Five, great. Let me um, let me go grab some rubber for my rubber trees. Rubber, rubber. Okay. Throw you in here, throw you in here. Good. Oh yeah, another thing I did uh, is I just replaced these with um, like basic boilers and burning boxes because it was just kind of annoying to have to come and like reignite these. I think these perfectly or nearly perfectly, well, I guess not nearly perfectly, but these more or less run at a, a similar rate to what the autoclaves use in terms of steam. It's just a little bit less. I think doing quartz is... Uh, pretty intensive it uses a lot of steam but it's not a big deal it runs in the background passively um it's still better than having to come and ignite this all the time and also it will work better with an automatic igniter system i think because the other ones will just like as soon as they go below their uh, pressure gauge they will just reignite themselves whereas these ones will basically just run until this is done so i realistically only need to have an activity detector possible 
on these like on this one and on this one and then connect that to the igniter or yeah basically just connect it to the igniter because that way the only possible way for this to run will be if uh, this is capable of running and this will not be able to keep up quite as quickly with the consumption so it'll just sort of more naturally work with that it'll use less fuel overall i guess and uh be more I would, I would assume it's probably more lag free as well not having to reignite that every single time all right let's uh do this yeah i'm gonna need a lot of rubber fluid pipes Jeez. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll I'll make do with what I have for now. Um, I can always fix the system afterwards. So I need this to run to a mixer that has redstone. What is the best way to input that? Is the question. Hmm. So like redstone, I could put a system to like input redstone down here and just pipe it up. So it shouldn't be too bad. So I need a mixer, items in on the left automatically. Could it, I could do it like this. What are the, what does this come out? Back, fluids in top, oh wait, top automatically. Oh, it's items in on the left, I see, okay. Um, what is the smelter? Actually, I. I think I see how I can do this. I have to put the mixer down one. Let me just put a piece of glass here for a second. Like that. And then I can put the smelter. So fluids out, left, items in on the top. All oh, right, fluids out right. Whoops. Um, so I can do it like this. Where, did, where else can the mixer take in? I think it could take from the left. Yeah. Mixer. Fluids in top left. Yeah. Okay. So let me just double check. Uh, redstone alloy. This is 1093. This is 1696. Okay, so that's able to hold it. Molten redstone is 500. Molten silicon is 1687. Yeah, so that's all good there, not a problem. So you will fill vertically adjacent tanks. Um, this can connect to here. You will need a redstone machine switch or an automatic machine switch. This will need an igniter system, which shouldn't be too bad. I think this could be pretty compact as long as I do this properly. Which means that the crystallization crucibles can kind of just go here. I think. So I want to put them up like two. Like that. Burning boxes can go here. One, two, three. Dense burning box, and then this goes here. Yeah, I'll just kind of like build a skeleton of it before I start like placing everything directly. So this can go there, and then I can put a mass storage. Wait, what is that? A centrifuge. Okay, I was like, if I already had a mixer, that's kind of annoying, but it was not the case. Okay, so you go here, you can go here, whatever, um, and then this will have to come forward, like that, um, and then it'll run over some tank extenders, and then there's going to be item pipes on top like that. I don't really like that this is facing this way, but it's minor inconvenience, really. And then I can have the tiny piles of uh, whatever just come back up. If I have like another, let me do this, mass storage. 
like that. So then I can do something like this. Or wait, whoops. Get rid of that. Okay. So then that would connect there. So then I can have a system that uh, cuts those bools down. It'll just retrieve those tiny piles, put them in the right one. Let me unhook that one just for a second. These will automatically dump their stuff down. I can connect those also to a single pipe system. Okay, I think this makes sense in my head. Whether or not it works in the real world is a, a different story. <laughs> It's a little messy, I'll be the first to admit. But, you know. It's compact. That's what I that's all I can say for that. So this needs an automatic machine switch. I need four igniters, uh, two solar panels, and a battery box. So I'm gonna need a lot of tin alloy. Me I'll do like half a stack of iron. I should really make a tin alloy, like, auto crucible at this point, but whatever. We'll do it this way. It's not a big deal. Uh, where's my tongs or my pincers? Okay. Oh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn you on. Get eight more prepped. All right. I'm going to need... Four plates, or actually no, I need eight plates, so I need to cut two of these silicon bools. <clears throat> these are going to be for the solar panels, so it's a good thing I had those coming down the line already. And then I'm going to need a bunch of tin alloy, I need, what does it take for solar panels? Actually I have that already in my left side, okay. I need four circuits. I actually already have just enough. I'm probably going to need more, but that's fine. Let me save those, actually. Um, what else does the circuit or the solar panel need? It needs annealed copper. Or just copper. Uh, where is my copper? One, two, three, four. This is fine. Um, throw the tin in. Oh, no, nope, turn that back off. I'll let that go a little bit too long, but that's fine. At least it's better than having to pour it out at like 2,000 degrees. Okay. Um, put my iron in. Turn that on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Prepare that. Alright, so I need... How many igniters? Four. Plus two solar panels. So I need quite a bit. Yeah, 10 long rods. Ooh, a lot of tin alloy. That's okay. I have infinite iron and infinite tin, so not a problem. Probably, I don't know, I think I'm actually good with that now. I just need to smelt the rest of this. So I need copper wires. I need rubber. One, two, three, four. You are done. Throw the tin in. Turn it off. <clears throat> All right. Um, some more iron. Smelt that. Make the tin cables. I can start making the machine casings whatever let me see if i have tin alloy already i have a little bit not enough for a lot i'm also going to need the uh battery box i don't know if i accounted for that so i have four igniters two solar panels and a battery box so that's seven so i need 14 these so I actually need four more. 
I actually don't even have enough tin alloy for that. There we go. Oh, you are there. Throw the tin in, turn it off. Okay, and then I can throw in my last bit of iron, turn that on, and let me go get my tin alloy. Wait, why did these fall out? I must have thrown them on the ground. That's okay. They can sit on the ground for a little while. They're not going to go anywhere. All right, take these. We'll do two solar panels. Um... Copper cable, circuits, bam. Now I need the... We'll do the igniters next. I need four. So I'm going to need eight. You'll bolt. And also... What else does the igniter need? Lead cables, but I need to throw my tin in. Turn off. There we go. We just lead. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, rubber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Pour out all this. I'm also going to need two batteries, but that's fine. I already have the battery alloy that I need. All right, I can also make the last two machine casings, I think. Where did I put the wrench? Oh, I took it out. Okay. So I need four igniters, which are like this. Is it like this? Yeah. Four igniters, all there. I need the battery box so that's six lead wires and then two rubber to turn those into cables what else do i need i need two tier one circuits which i don't have let me see what can i manage to make over here Circuit plate, copper. Oh, I have I have basic circuits, but I kind of want more than that. Whatever. Uh, do four. What is it? Four. Four. Does that get you just one? I oh, know that gets you a bunch. Okay. However many you can give me, good sir. I think this will just give me two, but that's plenty. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay. So that'll get me my battery box. Um, tin alloy. Lead. Lead wires. There's my battery box. And I need two batteries. So I need um, battery alloy. One, two, three, four. I need lead oil. I need to curve two of these, so let's do that. Curve these. Cool. And then I need to make the battery cells, which are wire cutters, hammer, like that. And then I need some, I think, insulated lead cables. Um, I guess those are just called lead cables. I think we should be good. And then we just need the covers and everything, but that's fine. Uh, two lead wires, and then we need uh, rubber. Do one, two. And then it's wire cutters. Yep, we got two batteries. Excellent. All right. Now I just need the, the different covers, so I'm going to need four redstone machine switches. Let me make sure. these. Uh, I'm going to need more tier 1 circuits. Um, 
Let me just cut up all those silicon bools. We're going to be making a lot anyway. I'll just cut up eight, actually. There we go. Throw these back in. And then that way I can make this into a press room. And uh, also a circuit bathing room. I'll have to do some more logic for that. But I think this will... Once I combine these cables, or these um, pipes, it'll be much more compact. I can probably also throw the kerosene into that. And that way I just have one pipe carrying everything up. It'll probably look a lot nicer. I don't know how it does for lag, but I'm sure it's not too bad. Let me do 40, we'll do 40 of these. 40 of these. That should give me a lot of uh, good, or not good, but basic machine things at least. Basic circuit parts. <clears throat> We are getting there. Just have to wait for everything to come out. There we go. Put these three in. I don't even know how I have like three. I actually don't know how that works. Actually, why am I taking these? These are the wrong things. I need 10 of you. Oh yeah, I forgot you get so many of these. You get eight per, don't you? Yeah, you do. So yeah, eight gives you a stack of uh circuits that's fine i only need this give me give me give me pretty cool pretty cool yeah I'll, I'll um most of this can be done just like automatically i will use applied energistics probably to do like on demand circuit crafting but for the most part, I can do, like, the constituent parts, um, like, automatically. I don't need to have, like, logic from Applied Energistics or anything, like, auto-crafting from that. Should be good enough to just do it this way. Now I could do... Just turn a bunch of these into, uh, basic circuit parts. Whoops. So you go, you go, and I'll just do two stacks of these. You, you, I think that's everything, yep. So that'll keep running, get me more circuits. Can never have too many tier one circuits in Greg Tech 6. All right, so I need, I wanna make sure this doesn't replace any. So for these, you know what I also need is, um, I'll just make a stack of uh, covers because I'm always gonna need them. I do 64 plates, and then I will need these for the screws. Let's set you to plate first. Bolt. Where's the plate one? There it is. So plate, aluminum dust, to plates. And what else do I need? I need, um, Activity detector. I actually already have one for some reason. Should have enough for all this. One, two, three. Okay. Good. Let me throw these on. Activity detector possible. So you three go on here. You, where do I want to put you? Probably here. And then I will put the solar panel. It'll have to be an accept and emit on that solar panel. Um, that's not a big deal. You're almost done. You should be getting the bolts. And then I'll turn them into screws. And then I'll turn all of those into more covers. I always love seeing how fast the the bolts get turned into screws. Look at that. Holy shit. I love the lathe. Such a cool machine. Alright. So screw, plate, hammer, and I think file. 
Or is it like this? Or is it like this? It's one of these. Oh no, it's screwdriver, isn't it? It's like that, I think. No. It's one of these permutations. There we go. What did I break? I broke a hammer. Do I have an extra hammer? I do have an extra hammer head. There we go. Let me um throw this bronze into a shredder. I'll throw you in here. Okay. So these blank covers are for me. I need some more red alloy wire, actually. Let me do 32. Turn all this into wire. Um, and I can get rid of these tin alloy plates because I don't need all of them. Let me just grab as many of these as I can get. And then put... What can I put away? Put that strip away, the cover away. I just want my inventory to be a little more clean. Okay. Should be good there. Alright. So I need a solar panel. It needs to be set up to accept and emit... Oops. So emit and accept. And then I need the automatic igniter to have a redstone machine switch on top. So activity detector possible there. Good. Uh, you point into there. The solar panel. Wait. Oh, no, that's that one. I didn't set it up. Ugh, I'm dumb. Okay. Um, emit will go on the bottom, except will come from the other side. So there we go. That goes there. Point that down. Point that in. We're good. That's a nice little compact setup. Um, although, I will need another emit cover in order to get the piston to come out. And I'm going to need a um, automatic machine switch. Automatic machine switch. There we go. What are we missing? Lever? Okay. Cool. This will come up, go up here. So we'll just throw that onto you. Um, we'll bring some red alloy wire down underneath and we'll bring it into a piston, which I'm sure I have around somewhere. Sticky piston and I have some glass on me, so that's not a big deal. Um, actually, we're going to need to bring that down one. That piston goes here. Put you up. Put the glass here. All good there. Okay, and then these all need to be configured in a very specific way. So these all need to have accept covers on top. So one, two, three. One, two, three. I think that's emit. That's accept. So accept, 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 um, and then we want emit on the back, one, two, three, one, two, three, emit, 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 that will control the igniters, which will all need to have redstone machine switches, redstone machine switch, redstone machine switch there. Then I need three more emit covers whoops, for the bottom of those uh, burning boxes. So, like this. Cool. You guys go like this. Make sure these are all pointed properly. Whoops, like that. I'm going to need some tin cables. Tin cable. I, I cannot combine those together, but I can do tin 
Uh, get two of those, actually four, and then rubber. One, two, three, four, or no, one, two. Wait, I don't know how much I need. Okay, just two. Tin cables go over here. I'm going to do the solar system here, probably. Although I could probably do it here. That doesn't really matter that much. Um, it's whatever. Whatever works best. Uh, I'm thinking I also need to bring up the gases, the noble gases, but I'll figure that part out. So I'm going to point this here. Put the two batteries in. Oh no, not like that. Hold on, I need to bring it down one. That's going to be the solar panel. So you go here. You go here. Then we do two cables and a one times cable here. Wire cutter in, in, in. Um, emit on these. So that should be good. And I'll do the same thing that I did here. Um, I need the batteries in here to start filling up. I think this is going to work pretty well. Oh, hold on. How am I going to get items into that smelter? <laughs> hold on. I need to rethink this. I can do that, maybe. That's a burning box. Where's the smelter itself? How do you put items into the smelter? It's a good question. I think it's in the top, so I may have to drop that down by one, which is not going to really change anything. But I just need to bring an item pipe up. Um, let's see. So yeah, I need to drop that by one. That's not too much of an issue. I think for the most part, this is going to be an exact copy here. It's just going to, now I just need to bring up redstone. Um, so yeah, I think we're nearly there. Looks like we're very slowly backstuffing silicon. And what I might do just to kind of like speed that up is to, um, I could just bring over some silicon plates from over there because I had like a ton just built up from uh, doing like applied energistics and I never used all of them. So I might just make a bunch more using like charcoal and uh, silicon dioxide from sand or something. Let me just sleep. So yeah, that'll kind of kick the system into gear, and then it'll start backstuffing everything that I need it to. And then I can start doing the redstone bulls. And that should be all good. And then I can do the crystal ones as well. But I will do those probably down below. Because I don't really need them to uh, have this kind of system. Germanium and the gem ones can both be done um, down there. Probably like right there, actually, or against that wall or something. Or even underground. They don't need to be up here. We'll see. But yeah, I think for now, I'll just finish this setup. It's going to be more or less a copy of this. Um, I'll just move this down by one. I mean, I can just do that part right now, actually. You go here. Um, you come down one. Red alloy wire goes here. Connect it up like that. Um, bring you here, get the burning box, um, put that right there, point it that direction, igniter, and solar panel, and smelter. Okay, um, and then I can just drop the mixer down by one as well. I should be okay. Yes. Wait, let me just make sure. Mixer. Where can this take things in? Fluids in top left. That is pointed this way. So that's the left. Top is here. Okay, yeah, I will need to drop that down by one. Also, let me do that now just so I don't forget. So mixer needs to go here, right? Yeah. Uh, the Invar fluid pipe goes here. You no longer connect on this side. You connect on the bottom. And this drum goes yeah, there. 
uh, you don't connect there, you connect here, up like that. Smelter goes here, um, fluids out right, so we'll put it here, spin it around. Smelter, just make sure items in on the top, yeah, so I will have to bring an item pipe up around somewhere, but that shouldn't be too much of a big deal. So the solar panel goes here. Um, igniter goes here. Point it like that. And then I can probably put this back. My, my little roof I've destroyed. Okay. Now I can put these back. Okay, that looks good enough. I will have to figure out how to bring items up to bring redstone. I can probably just put like redstone blocks in there and just have like a, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to pipe stuff into that, but that'll be interesting. Maybe I'll raise the roof on this a little bit and then bring a pipe around. Let me put a, um, a mass storage. Realistically, it doesn't really, it doesn't need a huge amount. But it's going to need some. That's good there, I think. I mean, I can also... I can move this over, actually. That's not a problem. Yeah, I'll do that. Because it's already, like, right here anyway. You go down. Go like this. Um, yeah, you can come over one, I think. So we'll put you here. Put you here. You here, and then I'll put the cable, or not the cable, the pipe there, like that. You go like that. You go like that, and that. I can get rid of this, and I have an extra space to pump items into this. Um, and then I have also some space to. Uh, Do this. Is that good? I'm just thinking actually it might be better. Yeah, actually I think it might be better to um do the redstone signals on this. Ugh. I think yeah, on the burning box it's probably better. So let me do that. Let me put this here. Get rid of you. Put you on this. And then this needs to have an emit there. You need to go here. Point it like that. Hit the burning box. Accept. And then emit on the bottom. Put the glass back. Wrench. And there. I think that works much better. It's much more compact. It's now in like a single block profile. I think that's makes me happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me... Where's that? There we go. Connect that up. So when that's possible to run, that should go down and ignite it. And turn that off. For now, this will stay completely off like that one. Very good. These are filled. These are not working, which is what I want. These can go here. I need three, except three emit. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, except, except, except. Emit, emit, emit. And then three things like this. Point them up. Point these this way. Whoops. Like that. And then I need three, I think, redstone torches. Yeah. And some glass. I need more glass. I have sand. I do. Let me go throw that sand in. Just take all that. 
And then I need piston. Or let me just do the whole thing. Piston. And I need rubber. Or uh, what is it called? Resin. Alright. Should be all good. You. Whoops. No, no, no. You go like this, this, this. Like that. Perfect. It's coming together. And then I can do this to bring redstone into that system, and the solar panel will still work because magic. Uh, you need to be connected, don't you? you do. So this needs to. That's the output. How do you. Oh, yeah, I just connect it up like that. Perfect. I think that's good. Let me put another thing there just so I can remember. Get rid of that. Uh, I need to put the engine on like that. That's all good. You will start getting molten silicon when you're all done. Wow, these hold a lot of molten silicon. Jesus. Okay, I'll have to throw a ton of it into the system in order for that to become backstuffed, but that's fine. I should also make a... I need to have like some kind of system to detect how many bulls are already like available. Or how many... I actually don't want to do it with the bulls. I want to do it with the... Um, cut plates because the bulls themselves are actually not used for anything but the cut plates could be used for other things it could be used for the smaller plates or for the solar panels so i want to um, keep a certain stock and then just turn the system off but i think this is good for now all i need to do is um, run the noble gases up here and then i need to make some tank extenders put them on here and we should be good to go so yeah, I will I will prepare all that off screen. Um, when I come back, I'll try to have that system either running or just about ready to run. And then uh, yeah, we'll have the redstone bulls, and we'll get to make the tier six circuits, and then we'll have the good solar panels to produce a lot of power. And maybe I can switch the system over to electric heaters and stuff because that will save me quite a lot of uh, space, uh, a lot of lag, I'm sure, and a lot of fuel. Uh, but yeah, for now, I will see you guys next time.